Well, let's go ahead and get back to it. Looks like everything's in order on that, so we should be good. Okay, so welcome back. I'm sorry about that. We had some internet problems. It looks like they're good. So, we got a new party member. That's good. And we got a tank for the use, so we just gotta go back. Wait, didn't he say something about... Oh, yeah, I was just expecting him to tell me where to go. getting too long. <laughs> In for the love of humanity, please. too long. Anyway, uh... Said something about a building in South Town, didn't he? Visit us as the Muths located south. Okay, so it's not in town, so I need to go south of the actual town. Anyway, before we went off though, I want to see some of these skills might be what she can use. So, rapid file hits airborne stealth, dual wield, stunts bio weapon. Only two of them are for her. Ooh. Well, that could be useful. We'll give it to her. Okay, right, anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and go get that tank for her. Chunker. We got mail. Mail call. Oh, fuck. A whole lot. Does it? Uh. I don't know if I should be consoling. Uh. Heck, it's on.
Don't get caught up in trouble, son. Anyway, let's go get a little tank. Yeah. Oh. Oop. Eh, well, I just go to the other one. I guess if I'm here, I might as well see if I get it. No, no junk torn on. I need to find someone else. Give like it has to be someone else I can give junk to for like random shit, right? <laughs> Right? I mean, it, it has to be some other kind of fucking functionality used for it. I wonder if mom will react to the new person. Go like, hi, you seem a little mature for my child. I need to be like in human form? Yeah, I guess not. Yeah, I was expecting more of a reaction, but oh well. Okay, so let's get down here, snag us our vehicle down here. Drive. Again, that mosquito. There you go. Three tanks, we can tear up some shit now. Actually, no, I kind of just auto assumed that. You know, I couldn't have the two of them together, actually. I probably should see if that guy will join as a fourth, actually. <laughs> I didn't, like, I guess my brain just auto-like went, oh yeah, probably won't join. Ooh, 40 ton. Big increase. I'm getting, like, a really big... Not really that big of a increase. No, it's a good increase compared to Ooh, that price, man. That took a lot of money. I just spent like all my fucking money. So that's a mosquito. It's a, for now, I'm not gonna be able to really buy a new one. So she's just gonna have to kind of deal with that. Man, look at that increase, though. Let's see, she has. Yeah, so. Get that Omega on. That'll give you some more. Yeah, yeah, those spilled guns. Uh, see if I put any in storage. So what's all? And Taurus is really low. Man, we can get a lot of HP now, though. Whew. Yeah, if you got money going off to the train track, it can be profitable. Well, very expensive, but I mean, like... You get some hella upgrades, so... Anyway, um... Yeah, I want to see uh, if I had any... Tank shit in storage. I have something for her. Because I'm not going to be able to buy anything for a while. Uh, we got a Gatling gun we can give her. I'm done with that for now. And then we'll have to work on some cash and shit. Oh, wait. Eh. Yeah, 
Carol. So she got some weapon way in that. All good. There's nobody to sell uh, the pots to heal. So. I don't really have the money to just dump on a whole lot of uh, random crap at the moment. We need boss time. money so we don't want to really we'll get on Alma right now depending on where we go <laughs> the north area they were hitting us pretty hard I'd like to get those upgraded chips and stuff too so I'd say that our next goal is to whack up on some more cash so how are we doing on inventory definitely need to kind of put that way so as we got to hold on now, we can essentially get with some spell armor for now. I mean, eventually I'll probably want to try some of the other characters. There might be even times where I might need them for like some events of like maybe thieves and shit. But like as it is now, I'm probably gonna stick to for now so we will likely get vastly better options than this stuff if we ever do end up changing party members so, so we free up some exp now we might want someone i don't think that's gonna be now and then again that's pretty weak at this point i keep the bowgun Honestly, a lot of this stuff has gotten pretty weak. Keep that. Man, that metal detector is expensive. I need to see, like... I'll keep both for now, just in case. Like, we want to experiment whether they can both find the same item, but I need to see, like, uh... Like I said, I'm assuming the other one's just a full-on upgrade, is what I'm assuming. Also, how are we on HP? I think we need to top up health. I mean, we're not super majorly whole. Wait, whoa, why, why are you not in your tank? Huh. Is it because she was like... So let's say I do that. Huh. That's interesting. That's probably gonna get annoying. Oh, do I have any big mills on me? No. Okay. Let's also drop off that scrap. So basically, when I get out of my tanks, I want to basically circle them so we don't encounter that problem then. Man, it's going to take a while to get these, but man, these are. Really good. Of course, with my luck, we'll probably be able to buy them by the end of the game by the time I probably ever get enough. Assuming that's even a thing. If not, then well, eh. Oh well. Okay, well, let's go ahead and save. So at this point, we, we want to go explore. We need to get monies and probably try to find some fucking wanted people. 
Don't really have any actual new dungeons or anything found yet, though. So based on places we've already been, not a whole lot of places to go. So I guess the first thing to do is see what the outside of the Alice One's like. I imagine this is going to hurt. A lot. Probably a severe lot. Oh wow, that is much bigger. Ratchet 9. Can be used to ah be cool parts. That's much nicer. I mean that's like the majority of the fucking screen, basically. So that's much nicer. Well, let's see what stuff's like here. What do we got? There's a dog attacking us. Expenses. Why did why did we get negative fifty seven on expense? Man, that only gave us one EXP. That thing was not hard. <laughs> Sixty one mutt drop chance with low EXP. Well, that's for sure. That's an understatement. <laughs> we're not gonna actually go in the dun uh, in the, the tunnel, though. I imagine there's stuff in there. We'll probably want to do like a save and then probably like check it out and see if it's how dangerous it is. And mail detector way bell. So yeah, we can get rid of the old one probably then. Pretty sure it's just a straight out upgrade. Ooh, three months. Oh wow. They fucking hit hard though. Shit. Fifty-seven expense going on. Man, they hit fucking hard. Ow! Holy shit! With one towel being uh one thing of money, I mean, they they took off way more shit than the, the, they were, like, fucking worth. Eh, I mean, I guess I could use some of these to free up a little space. Save a little money. So, lodges for 200. Yeah, definitely gonna want to be buying those. Like, these got fucking, uh, replaced fast. 
Probably can't buy lodges yet, though. I don't think I. I'm not sure if I've seen them for sale anywhere yet. Two hundred a pack's not too bad, though. Though I imagine they're probably more expensive than buying normal armor at the garage because of the portabilityness of them. I would imagine. Okay. Oh man, that's. Okay. Yeah, I don't even have enough to do that much. So fucking expensive. So it does seem like the game is designed for you to do a bit of level grinding. Cause right now, I'd say, Alice, we either need to get fully upgraded. Like, if we get that fully upgraded, it might be... Because we don't have the best tank defense chip on any of the tanks. Of course, she's a bit gimped. Because once I get enough money, I want to get a whole bell engine and that. But yeah, I mean, right now, like, we... How much average space do we got in my two tanks now? Oh yeah, they got some decent free space now, <laughs> and those chips will four ton. So even with that, but yeah, and I need to get rid of the old engines too. So exploring Alice is a bit dangerous right now. So and then going up north, they won't do like two hundred some damage, but they were doing like what was it seventy to a hundred? So. They're, they're not exactly Breeze pushover Z, though. So basically, we need to go and find something worth money. And technically, if we can find some criminal scum activity. I just got weighing over by a, 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 a jeep. I need to have 57 expense. Is it something about the gun she has? I mean, it should have been like an old gun we were using. Does it have a shell on? I don't get it, because she's just using the Gatling gun. It should have been a Gatling gun we've already used before. I'm gonna try and see if I can just have enemies get killed without her taking a torn. See if that does something. actually nope what you just 
flipped over using a sword. <laughs> How embarrassing. Technically, I still need to explore a bit more in the desert. Ooh, it looks like there's some... Um... What's that over there? If that's a town, I could maybe make a one for it. Ooh, whoa, what the hell is this shit? They really like to focus on one fucking target, don't they? Dude, what the fuck? Weird fucking enemies. Same thing, though. Focusing down on a target lot, don't they? Yeah, the AI is not so stupid. 57. Why does it keep being a 57 fee? Why am I getting charged 57 expenses? Is it because I have three tanks? Is that why? Uh, I can't see what it is. Ah, some trader post. Oh. A very good salt label. <laughs> Some of these findable things are kind of questionable, I think. It's definitely going to make finding shit way easier, though. Fucking enemy. Balloon sniper. I really need to find some anti air shit. Yes, we got a thought counter. Man. I tell you, flying enemies are annoying as fuck in this game. Die! <laughs> Thank you. I really need to find something at fucking anti ale. I don't. I don't know what the 57 expense is. That. I don't know. To be fair, like, when I met the two characters. I kind of just assumed only one would join you at a time, and I didn't actually take the other characters off of the join at the time. Well, I'm only using submachine guns, which never charged me money before, which is what I'm a little confused about. 
So I'm thinking it's either because I have three tanks operating, which is a possibility, which I want to test. So I'm going to go somewhere a little simple for this. Now, fuel's not been a thing at all, period. There's, there's been nothing about fuel. So here's what I'm going to do to test this. So with two tank operators, I've never had any cost uh, thing without doing other stuff like using those special abilities. Wait. Like... Ah! There's why it's 57. So when I said abilities, I said... I, I, my brain went, wait a minute, abilities cost money though. So the whole starting ability is auto-applied every match. Interesting. Hmm. Well. Have to keep that in mind. Okay, well that explains that now. So, so, so. I'd say let's explore, because we didn't explore too much of the upper left side of the desert. Ah, uh, good question. Hey, whoa, 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 there's something down here. It's inside the forest. Yeah. Oh no, it's those dogs. Those were around the other town. Those things hold hell, like hell on the fucking, uh... Oh, maybe they're a weak abortion. Dog tails. Oh no, I'm a dog mortal. Just like yesterday. <laughs> You're gonna actually waste me to the end. Be sold. Uh, I'm gonna sell dog tails to the to the fucking bot. Hey, drinks for everyone. I happen to have a whole bunch of dog tails. Woohoo! Dog tails. And that's the one that was by Alice Town. That's such a. Weak versus A. See, I need anti air. I need something that's anti air because it is hard hitting this shit. Okay. Yeah, it's just a weak abortion. Yeah, because I was going to say that other one I fought was hit really hard against the tanks. Ooh. The Biogenetics Laboratory. So, I'm gonna assume this is a foot person dungeon. Description. Popular amongst- uh oh. It's those weirdos again. Foys! Biogenic Engineering Lab or something like that. my inventory. Okay, we'll put good on inventory, because I was going to be like... Control DNA of select organisms to alter the code of abilities. Canine prototypes? Uh-oh. Did we find where our dog companion comes from? Nine experiments. 
They were making super dog soldiers. So actually, so we, so way back when I said unless we skipped by where we get the dog might actually be accurate then. Well, at least it's a person dungeon, so shouldn't have anything super crazy. Oh god, here some. Like what? It, like who? Who thought? I, I swear, some of the enemies in the series are fucking weird. Yeah, we might be a little over leveled for this place, to be honest. Though that does kind of suck to just automatically have fifty-seven money sucked up. So you don't want to actually take her to weaker areas or get that skill unlawned, which, to be honest, might be tempting. Scratchy all of a sudden? Oh no! I have that disease from when they cry! I'm going to die! Oh shit! <laughs> Yuck, pigeon droppings! How would anyone even know? Like, how could you even prove that? How can you prove a pigeon can remember 300 things in their visual memory? How would you even prove that? I love this winch. Oh well. As long as we're making profit. It just sucks it consumes a bit of money though. Oh well, I guess that's what that's the price you pay for cowgulls, right? <laughs> Locked door. So that's probably where the dogs be all experiments is on. Let's go downstairs for us. Oh, this is gonna be a multi layered building, huh? Oh dear. Oh so many wombs that just explore for random junk. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. So what are you up to today, Pad? Well, on the upside, it's an opportunity to get some money. Man, the newest shit is expe- It's a really good thing I skipped over that fucking one town. Imagine how much more fucking money I would've had to spend if I had upgraded at that one too. Yeah, Pad, don't buy a lot of upgrades early on. I, 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 I think it's probably just a pretty big waste. Wait a minute, we just went up. PA system BD1 is standing by for use in CS plant number one unlock storage. What the fuck is all this? How are there still dogs alive here? Like a Japanese style one here. Oh, Chihuahua. So I'm assuming I get to only pick one, is my guess. Ooh. That's an interesting looking one. A mountain dog to save your ass. 
So, assuming I can... I shall get all of them. <laughs> assuming you can only pick one, my question would be, are there unique differences between them? Because, like, this one, like, gives me an idea, like, it might actually heal people or something. <laughs> I mean, the classic ones, of course, this one. This, this one's, like, in all the fucking games, so... I guess, uh, we'll stick to this, and then I guess we'll... If it's what we're stuck with, it's what we're stuck with, and if we can change, then I guess we can experiment with that. <laughs> so. Accessing plant number one. Oh, are we microwaving it? You got more dogs. Oh. Looks like he does get... So let's see what happens if we... Well, actually, before that, we can also do another thing to also prove um, whether there's any differences. Give me one second here. To see if there's actual differences, what we can do is, of course, take a look at our canine friend right now. So let's see... He's a level 12, so he's not super on level. Yes. Loyal friend. Fox hunter and shooting star. Eh, no. Draws an out of range enemy closer. A devastating jump attack. Okay, so let's see if you have the same things. Why is it like microwaving them now? I'm assuming you just stay here. So, yeah, I guess we get access to all of them then. So. Stores to. Ooh, so yeah. He's a medical type dog. Interesting. So, yeah, they do have differences. Well, then, what's what all of them do? So like, you can come here and get the medical one if you're going to do more human stuff. We're just banning a bunch of dogs here. So what do you got? Headbutt. Yeah, not, not exactly the most uh, amazing thing. So what's this little thing going to do? <laughs> Why? Like, they look like oversized microwaves, what the fuck? Is that a soda can sing on its back? Dog just ellipses. Hi, I'm Terry. Terry, the Chihuahua. We're just going to abandon all these dogs here. <laughs> I beam what? <laughs> I'm just a genetically modified dog. I just shoot laser beams out of my eyes. Perfectly normal dog activities. Oop, I didn't mean to go through that. Okay, so they're in the basement. It was the basement level in the far back. So I'm assuming if I want any of them, I have to come back. So the question is, who do I want? 
I tell you, for the sake of the series, I'd say let's let's go with the classic one for now. And after that, well, actually, technically, wait, didn't we come from this room? Yeah, we came from this room. So no, we yeah, so we we had to go through. Oh. We so the dog has nothing. To, oh, okay, yeah. So the dog's automated. So it's just like the Xeno we both one. It does level up still though? That's good too. So yeah, so the dog acts as a fourth person. So, so I don't know if the fourth slot is resolved for the dog only, or if you can have another human now. So what's for the this way? This is somewhere else entirely. Oh, there's a... Oh, well, that's... Oh. Well, I'm assuming at some point I get to turn that on. So that makes getting other dogs convenient. If I can get on. Oh, well. That was the locked door, then. So I probably have to figure out something about this place, then. Well, if I go out and, um... Get dog gear, I can make the dog somewhat useful, but I guess for now it's stuck with how it is. Because I mean, I want to carry dog gear if I'm not gonna have something equipped it on for now. Besides, everything's getting one shot by the mechanic anyway. They just sit. Oh no, it's disobedient. It's a disobedient dog. Okay, uh, there was no other... That was... Yeah, that's where I came from, so, uh... Uh, there's gonna be so much to explore here. Oh my goodness. Up, down, left, right. I'm gonna get so lost at this fucking place. Yeah, we don't want him. Call for help. Ooh, they got some HP. Wait a minute. It just decided to use fox hunt. Does that mean the dog just spent money? Wait a minute. Okay. So it didn't raise the price. But it didn't list... Hmm. Maybe... Maybe those are just for, like, if they're on a person. Because when you think about it, it'd be kind of shitty if your dog just kept spamming moves. Another locked door? So I guess they'll flee for the dogs. I wonder if that means uh, you can teach the dogs new stuff, I wonder. So there's some kind of silver room. want to press this finely crafted switch. Okay. What the hell was that supposed to do? Oh, which would... How you doing? Welcome. I'm doing all right. We got four party members now. We got a giant facility we still need to explore here, though. 
it is going all white. Yeah, apparently the dog can do other things other than just normal combat, so it's not always a guarantee it's gonna do something useful it seems. They're all way in human reach, so I don't know why it's really bothering. Yeah, these things have some freaking HP on them. I'm gonna be filling up on too many little freaking items, though. Not sure what the hell these buttons were for, though. Won't let me we push them, though. I'm gonna try leave come back because it didn't I thought it's odd that it didn't bring any dialogue box up Nope All right, so whatever they do uh, Apparently done so uh, My first guess would be to check this door you Aha, so it unlocked the, the wet doors, okay So Pills, medium pack, shock absorbers. I'm gonna be filling up on those cells, so I don't really want to get too much more crap. Uh, probably do want to buy some pills though, because to be honest, uh, those things are surviving and getting a few hits off. Ooh, man, that's a really good one now. Be a good idea to have a little something, so I think I'll buy three. So we'll try and see if we can get that plus. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Ah, it was just one space. Oh, have you played Metal Saga? Let's see. It's just the 50 ones that's giving me. Oh, we're gonna get so lost in this fucking place. Oh, there's also dogs here, too. Uh oh. The dog survived. Oh no, I summoned help. So, might as well hit you. So when she does a winch... Oh, okay, he one-shots it. That works. Yeah, like, I'm enjoying the game so far. Like, I just really like the idea. Like, you, you get to customize all these tanks and shit. There's a few things like having more inventory space that I like with Xeno. Like, the limited space I do think is a little bit of a chore with so many fucking items. At least let, like, same item stack that. That probably would have been, uh, not as annoying then. So, we came that way, so I guess see what's upstairs. It probably takes us back to the main staircase, I'm imagining. Rough it up. Huh? 
On the upside, I guess if I need money, like the item drops on these things are pretty high. So depending on how much these sticky cells sell for, this might be a good, good place to get money. Uh, well, Fridays we are going to be doing Shadow Man. Okay, yeah, I think this took us back to the main staircase. Yeah. So, did this unlock? It did. So, this is, yeah, this is where the dogs are. So, I wonder if this is powered on now. Nope, still not on. So Fridays we're doing Shadow Man. Um, we're gonna finish off Higawashi on Thursdays. I have a um, I have a day off my last carryover on the 24th. So we're gonna use that to likely finish off the last chapter of Higawashi. So I'm trying to remember wherever where we went. Uh, this place all got all to the land. Let's go back, 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 back. You know. But yeah, Mill Saga is all Saturdays. See, I need to get that teleporter on, because if I want to change dogs, that would obviously be the insanely quicker way of doing it, instead of physically running down here. Ooh, two dog tones. Just give an opportunity for the dog to level up a little bit since, you know, well, what we have to. Okay, so. Yeah, so this should be back down there, yeah, so. So then on this floor, this should be the last one we need to check here. A small hilt. Assuming that's to make a sword. Component for the Twin Fang. Yeah, I like to just find everything I need for that. What are you up to? Playing any good games lately? Now everyone's been playing Hell Divers 2 like hell right now. Hell Divers. Hell Divers 1 was pretty fun. Man, that will when you got really close to enemy territory in that game though. Oh. It got really fucking hard though. Okay. Top four. Metal. Yeah, I'm glad we got the dog, so that... Now the question is, um... I'm assuming the dog also gets a tank, because from what I understand in a lot of the entries, the dog gets its own tank. Though, uh, in Xeno, we never, never did find a tank. So, I don't, in Xeno, we born that is there. Oh, did we? Wait, no, we didn't. Yeah, we didn't. Oh, did we? I actually can't remember. We both was that forgettable. I mean, the dog was pretty much the only real memorable thing in Weeborn. Like, that was probably the only real sin franchise wise that the original Xena really probably did was not having the fucking dog companion. But considering what the Kratos said, the reason of what, what the design philosophy for Xena was, it kind of makes sense though. Because he said the idea of Xena was to be 
or were torn to the basics. So, I imagine they were trying to create a game that wasn't insanely confusing. So, having an AI killed or would probably have been considered a little against that. Egyptian hood. Hmm. Where's the... You can't even use hats, so... You always like that mindset. I can understand why the Cradle probably got rid of the dogs in the original Xeno, but I still think that probably not really a good excuse for the dog to be gone with it. Because, I mean, it, it's just one AI. It's not like it's fucking uh, Persona 3 where everything's fucking AI. Oh, you know, speaking of Persona 3, man, who oh boy. Everyone better hope I don't make a rant video on the, the recent we loaded in for, uh, news, because man, will I make a hell of a rant video if that happens. Like, Pat, what, what do you think about, did you hear about the new news with we loaded? Like, I'm, I'm super pissed. <laughs> and I'm, I'm kind of sad no one else really is. The whole thing feels like being betrayed, like... I hate to say it, but it really makes me question whether I want to stop putting Atlas on the shit list. You think it's dissolved? I just like... The game was an incomplete game, like... The first announcement actually had people, uh, get upset. Oh, dear. Well, I guess... I don't really know which one's more valuable. By the way, are you streaming after a long time? I have never seen you before streaming. Uh, this is on Saturdays. So, uh, my usual time on Saturdays will be Metal Saga, for now. Friday will be Shadow Man, Saturdays will be Metal Saga. Ah. Uh. Well, the thing, like, I was pissed off at the original announcement because they didn't, like, they basically said, like, we're willing, like, look. I, I'm all cool with trying to have an authentic experience now, but like it, it seems so stupid to not fucking have the answer in it. Like it, it is a crucial upon story stuff. Like and it in the fact that the answer is considered basically the worst persona thing. Like out of all the persona things, it's considered like the worst. So like. On top of being a great moment to improve the gameplay of the Ansel. Modifying? Oh, uh, I generally don't change until I'm done with the game. So, uh, unless something really weird or something happens, uh, there should be no p change in that. It should be my Saturday stream until we're done with it. And I don't really see any reason that would happen other than the console dying or something. Uh oh, looks like Twitch is gonna force an auto ad. I don't get any more skips because all the internet problems we had earlier. Yeah. Oh, my model? I mean, I have a chibi version of my model in VR chat. I thought about asking TK about maybe making a VRM version of it and having it in some of the streams. Ooh, new gun. Anyway, though, um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, but I, I'm really pissed about now, like, because they said we're not going to make a royal version. Range explosive all. 
big decrease in fucking damage, so. But yeah, I just, I just like, they say they're not gonna make a Royal Edition and shit, which basically made it more likely that there's not any answer thing. And my friend DJ was like, oh, they're gonna make it. I know they are. And I was like, that's kind of my feel. Like, I feel they were gonna lie and actually do a Royal version kind of thing. Golden Royal portable, you know. But now, no, no, it's even worse. They're making it a fucking pass that's $40 on top of what's already a $70 video game. So if you want, if you want the complete new Persona 3 experience without finding it on a discount, you'll ping a Hundred twenty dollars. The fuck? I mean, Persona Three is like a really good game in my opinion, but it's just like, what the fuck? I mean, and you know, the sad thing is, and I was expecting it to go up, but apparently, FES is still pretty uh, readily available. Apparently, uh, Persona Three FES. Shopping. Like, yeah, you, you can still find copies of FES for like 50 bucks of that. So, you know, it, it's just so sad. You could, you could buy the complete version for cheaper than this. Like, it, it's just, what the fuck? I just don't know what the, the people are just like, yay, spend more money. Like, the announcement was full of so many people, like, I think, like, on one hand, I get some people who don't really care about the physical, care, like, making a complete physical version, they're, they're looking at the perspective of, uh, just playing the fucking game, like, I, I get that perspective being fine, but, like, it's only eight attack, like, unless it does shitloads of damage, I don't... I don't see that being super great. Oh, I'm gonna have to store away so much shit. We need to get done with this place too, because it's almost complete time for the stream. Uh, uh, you can find my Discord on the Twitch channel. Anyway. Oh, you only won it. So, that yeah, was what? Yeah, so. Yeah. Nothing now then. Old armor. Oh, no, old armor. Just corn armor. That's it. But, yeah. Hey, come An L1 chip. Love machine component? Uh. That's good sorting. But yeah, I now I I believe um, Atlas did announce that the Persona 3 Reloaded will be heading to the new Nintendo console. Which, if that's the case, that means they'll probably make a royal version on that. I hope, and that's probably what I'll get. Because otherwise, I'm I don't give a shit about it right now. Like, I'm so insulted at the fact that they gave us an incomplete version of the game for $70 and then have the gall to charge 40 bucks on a fucking passport and then say, um, and then say, like, uh, oh, well, we had a, we, we were originally making it, but then we had to cancel it, but because of so much fan input, we decided to work on it again. Like, it's, that's, that's all fucking hogwash to me. Like, that's super hogwash. That's the most biggest insult to my intelligence level. I mean, like, Persona, like, Persona 5, before this, was Atlas's best-selling fucking game. 
And now, as far as I understand, Reloaded is the best fucking selling game. Like, that, and, you know, it's been one of the most requested things for them to fucking work on for years. There's only the most stupidest idiot would have been like, Ah, oh, now we need to make a lesser game. We need to make a non-complete game. It's what the gamers want. Like, like and it's just... I don't, like, if somebody seriously thought that they were the stupidest human being on the face of the planet. Like, seriously. I'm just, I'm just so insulted at the fucking, like, just the thought that somebody thought the fan base is just that fucking stupid. Uh... Means that a witch would not to be mean, but the um, I don't have a problem with you wanting to advertise about uh, asking about art and that, but making that like the focus for like over like 10 minutes is a little bit much. I mean, asking, hey, I got art work I'd like you to see, or if you would be interested in commissions, that's fine. Move on, please. You shouldn't have to be, like, uh, going on about for, like, ten minutes. I think at that point it's getting a little woodish. Because we're, we're here to, like, enjoy a stream and hang out, geek out, and about the game and that. I mean, unless the Pacific topic happens to be that, then that would be different, but that's not that, like, we're talking about Persona 3 here. So... I'm not trying to be rude or anything. But yeah, like I said, like my Discord links on the page and that and stuff. If you want to ask about that stuff, you can ask on there on that. But yeah, I don't I don't want that to be like the subject matter or that of the, the the stream, obviously. Unless for some reason it became it, which is which is not calling. <laughs> so well, um, this goes out. Hmm. Never found any way to turn on the teleportal. Hmm. Weird. I mean, unless that's just for looks, I mean, that possible? But wait, we never found the two dumbasses running around, though. They came in, so I imagine they're somewhere in here. Is there anywhere else I missed? I mean, I thought I got everywhere. I mean, that's the way we came in. It didn't really show whether they went up or down. Honestly though, at this point though... It might be just a good idea that, like, we might come back here that... Cuz... Yeah, we only went... Yeah, this was... Cause I only got about 10 more minutes left. And we're full on items anyway. So it might be just a good idea to take the take the hint. Strain out our inventory and stuff. Twitch is gonna do its stupid Oh. Oh well. Oh that's weird. We get to see him on the map. Sadly Twitch is gonna do its auto ad thing. Oh wait, no, it's all way doing its auto ad thing. Yeah, damn Twitch. Anyway. Wait, you saying they're not actually dogs? I 
I guess that's in case you didn't find them, I guess. Yeah, I like how they stick by you, like, in a little formation, though. So now we gotta find a dog tank. Poor little dog's gonna have so much trouble fighting shit. Well, we're gonna find a tank for the dog, though. Unless you can just use anything, but that's probably not the case. You think the dog was just fucking sad. So yeah, we need to finish exploring the desert. We don't need something else like that. Upside to help get us some money. How dare you, jackass. Point my poor little dog. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna wanna try and get some money. We're gonna want up I'm gonna wanna try and get these tanks upgraded and that for the next session. The money grind is wheel. But hey, having four party members makes it way easier though. Also, I've been needing to stop by here to ask that old lady about that teddy bear. Like, hey, I found a little girl. I'm assuming I have to hop on the train again. Oh, uh, oh no. I'm not getting to advance the dialogue. Okay, so they're gonna get wobbed on the train. Well, shit. Well, that gives us something else that we're gonna have to do then. I'm gonna have to get on the train line and stop them. You can't do that right now yet, though. Uh, let's see. Uh, 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 what am I gonna do? Uh, what's saving? Take it easy. Yeah. We got two more party members. We got a little bit more explored. But yeah, I'm gonna wanna get the Thor tank one in on a bell engine and guns. And I think I'm gonna start getting some of the guns upgraded at. Then we need to also get stuff for the dog. Ugh, there's a lot of stuff I need to buy. Man, this game really does win on cash. It's definitely not that different from Xeno in that regard. Yeah, Pat, if you're gonna play this, my my tip would be early on, do not waste a lot of money on upgrades. Tank engines and maybe a gun or two with the tanks, but like your personal equipment, I probably wouldn't focus too much on that, because I mean, we, you can get to, um, you can get the Alice one really easy. You just need the 2,500 for the train ticket, and you can get over there real easy. And there was a few, there was an armor piece and a weapon you can find now for free inside the town. So, I mean, <laughs> and they have lots of good gear there. So, like, honestly, it's not hard to get there. And considering the game does not really fucking stop you from... As far as I know, there's nothing stopping you from coming up here. So, I mean, you could basically just ignore everything else and just make a straight shot for, uh... For East Zero and dry, uh, train over to Alice One. You just need the ticket money. You can get that free equipment and that'll probably give you an advantage of that. Yeah, yeah. 